Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be installing these new Pro Taper Pillow Top Grips on the Honda Rancher 420. I need new ones because these ones are giving me blisters on my hands where they're all bored down and sticky. So I thought I'd try Pillow Tops and they're actually recommended to me. Um, I have his Instagram show up right now on the screen. But we're going to unbox these. I'll unbox these real quick and I'll show y'all how you can take off old grips and then install new ones. So now how to, um, on a 420 Rancher they actually have these bar end pieces and they just take an Allen wrench. Um, they don't, they're not like threaded in there. You just kind of have to use this to pull them out a little bit. See, they just, they just kind of pop in there like this. I'll set that aside because I'll probably reuse that. These pillow tops are actually a little bit um, shorter than these. So I'll have to adjust all my stuff over, which will be fine. So the next thing you want to do, these old grips are stuck on here, you know, from factory glue. So if you got a pocket knife or a razor blade, you can just cut them from about right here so not all the way up on the donut ring just cut them slice this open yeah i have to do it a couple times the rubber is a little thick but make sure your knife is good and sharp and then you can kind of just rip them off i'm changing mine because they're putting blisters on my hands and i want some new grips 420 needs some new stuff and um you guys have been wanting to see some videos kind of like this so I may not have to glue these pillow tops on, but we will see. So the next thing I need to install the grips is Dawn dish soap. Dish soap. And what I'll do is put a, just a little drop right there. That was actually a lot. And try that. Um, you might have to put a little bit inside the grip. Actually, just I'll take a little of this extra. And we'll go all the way around the tip of the grip here. And then we'll put some inside the grip here just to help it get started. This helps it slide on so much easier because um, usually old grips that haven't um, been changed very much, you usually have to put them on a little bit and then back them off. I'm going to have to put a little extra soap because these are just a tad bit tight because of um, Pro Taper wanting to make sure they stay on good. So I won't even have to use glue. Just put these on here like this. It stretches the grip too. All right, so now that your grip is on, now like I said, these are shorter than the factory ones. So I had to slide all this stuff over, which is no big deal. I think they're gonna be pretty comfortable. I actually had a little, little hard time getting these on because of the old grips left some gunk in there. And when you do that, I didn't really think about it. You should take a wire brush and clean that off. Then put soap, just a tad, or actually put some on the end of your handlebar, then wipe it around and then take whatever if you have a little leftover and then you wipe it in here or then get or get more and then just slide it on there and it'll begin to get tighter and tighter and then it'll be perfect right when you get it see this one this one's perfect it'll they'll actually after when you have this open there it'll move a little bit at first but then that soap will dry and then it'll be fine so that kind of helps you adjust it where you want it which i got mine right with like the little words say pro taper so that's pretty much how you do it and i'm gonna i'm just gonna do the other side off camera because it's, it's just the same. But I just want to make a short little how-to video. Because I, you know, I don't really do that many. So, the 420, I'm gonna, I got some lights. Big LED lights for it I'll be putting on here soon. And uh, I'll have some more riding videos coming at y'all soon. I got a couple new trails. I'm actually working on some new trails. And I might make that a video. But for now, um, I thought I'd get this little how-to putting the grips on. And I saw your old grips. So, thanks for watching. Remember, leave a like, some comment. Comment if you have any questions about these grips. Like, if you, I mean, I, I recommend them already. I can just feel that they're good. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Remember, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.